We get numerous contacts every day from people who've seen a dog that needs help. If we don't have room in the shelter, which is frequently the case, we're almost always full, what we'll ask the people who've rescued an animal is, if you can keep it for 15 days and guarantee us that it's off the streets and it's away from other dogs throughout that quarantine period, we will help you with medicine for the dog, we'll help you with food for the dog. Um, we'll help you to figure out a place to keep it safe. We'll give you all the support we can. And at the end of 15 days, if we have space, we'll take it into the shelter. If we don't have space, we'll help you find it a home. And we reach out on Facebook. We have over 8,000 fans on our Facebook page. And they do a great deal of getting that information out there for us that there's a dog in need. Today we have, I think, right around 70. Um, that's kind of nearing our limit. We can go higher. We've in the past had 95, but that's a stretch for us both space-wise and financially. So we try to keep it as close to 70 and 80 as we can. And then as soon as dogs are adopted out, then that means we can fill the space that they left with more dogs. We do adopt out between 100 and 150 dogs a year, which is a very good thing. We have a three-page application, and what we're asking people is to give these dogs the good home that they deserve, and that means it's going to be coming in as a family pet. It's going to be a part of the family. It's not going to be a roof dog, which is very common down here. They're not guard dogs. They're meant to be family pets. We ask that people give the dog a secure place where it can have some outside space and not be able to run in the streets. We ask that people give them the appropriate preventative medications and just in general give them love and take very good care of them. We also run out and do a home check just to make sure that the home is appropriate for the dog and um, we can also help people choose a dog that's going to fit into their lifestyle. With our volunteers, uh, you know, if we have a number of dogs here, if we've got 80 dogs, 70, 80 dogs here, um, even though there are typically always at least four people here at the shelter, that's not enough to give every dog the one-on-one -on -one attention that they need. And to make them highly adaptable, they need to be socialized, they need to have manners. So the number one thing we want from our volunteers is to come in and help teach the dogs the things they need to know to successfully move into a forever home. So they need to be walked, they need to learn how to sit when they're told and how to stay when they're told and not to jump on people and just generally to get along with everybody and not fight. The volunteers are great for that. Twice a week we have people who come in and walk the dogs so that when they go to their new home they're already familiar with a collar and a leash. They know their basic commands. Um, we have people that will come in and give them baths if they need medicated baths. We have people that will come in and assist our vet. It's a myriad of opportunities for people, but mostly give the dogs love, affection, and discipline. The most important thing, I think, is to get the word out that we're here. I mean, I've said we have a Facebook page with over 8,000 fans. The vast majority of those fans are not in Mexico. So one of our, our chores is to become more visible locally. So people who are seeing this, check us out on Facebook. It's PlayaAnimalRescue.org. Check out, no, Playa Animal Rescue on Facebook. And our website is PlayaAnimalRescue.org. Check us out. You can see our dogs. You can keep up with our progress. Share our information. Pass it around. Make sure people know about us.